multiple regression in coffee, getting to the bottom of the cup with large and small scale data, a think aloud clip from Chris Fano, Tracy Russo, and Jessica Wicks. Mmm, sweet, rich coffee. This is Carlos. In addition to being incredibly dashing, Carlos owns a coffee bar. He wants to make it the most successful coffee bar he can. Carlos has a pretty good idea that some things are strongly impacting his success, such as the quality of service, the overall quality of his product, the general location, and his asking price. To enhance his success, we have to test his theory with a multiple regression model. Why is the overall success of his coffee bar? It would equal beta null, or the intercept, when all other factors are zero. Those four factors, service, product, location, and price, are represented by the x's and the corresponding betas are like the weight of these x's on the overall y. In other words, they're like slopes of the line, showing you how much y changes, or success, for every one unit of change in x, whatever suspected factor we're looking at. Lastly, that little epsilon on the end there, that's the error. Models are nice, but the actual outcomes are going to look slightly different, so we need a character to represent that. Not too tough, right? If Carlos inputs his data and runs the regression in a statistical software program, part of the output would include an F-test. The model looks nice, and he seems to make sense, but the F-test helps determine if the model really makes sense for the data Carlos has collected. For example, our null hypothesis is that none of the four suspected factors – quality or service of product, location or price – have an impact on the success. However, Carlos's F-test shows otherwise. It shows a significant correlation at the .01 level. So how do we find out more? Check out the t-tests. So now we know that some of the factors Carlos identified do seem to have an impact on his success. To get more information on each of these factors and their impacts, the regression output also includes separate t-tests for each of the variables. How much do each of these four factors seem to affect Carlos's success when other variables are held stable? The service and price proved to be significant, but the product and location didn't really seem to have that much of an impact. Carlos now has a plan to enhance the success of his coffee bar so he can keep that dazzling smile. He's going to lower his prices just a touch and implement a new customer service initiative with his staff. In the end, we estimate the loss of a few cents per cup and the time invested in his baristas will be worth the payoff, assisting him in capturing a larger share of the coffee lover market in his area. So you see how multiple regression modeling and f-testing can help you capture large-scale data, but you need small-scale data for the detail work. It's not good enough to say the model seems to be significant. We need to know what variables are significant and how they're significant to change what we're doing. Is there a negative correlation to the outcome or a positive correlation? That's the reason we took a look at those t-scores. One last note. The only thing we didn't address yet is the error in our regression model, or the residuals. Carlos has a solid model that seems reliable, but will the numbers match up exactly in reality? Probably not. Never forget the residuals in the bottom of the cup.